Hey guys, we are going to share with you our haul from our very short weekend at the Festival of the Arts um, that we went in January. It was the last weekend in January. It's probably our, probably our smallest haul, but most expensive haul. <laughs> yes, and so the, the most expensive item I've ever purchased from Disney in terms of merchandise is in this haul um so you'll see what that is that's gonna we're gonna save that for last of course and it's my favorite so i have to save it for last so as always when we do these haul videos we start from free to things that we pay for free is always good free is always good so we had something really unusual this time we stayed at pop this century weird. this was unusual we've stayed there so many times we've gotten birthday cards anniversary cards and stuff like that but Never anything like this. We had a nice personalized card. There's a personalized message inside, and there's Mickey on the front if you can't see it. Yeah, so this was my birthday uh, weekend trip, so we we just assumed we, we it, was it was for my for birthday. His birthday. We, I started reading this. It well, was kind of strange. And it's signed by the general manager for Pop Century, and it came with these Ghirardelli chocolates. It's just those Ghirardelli chocolate squares. Um, but it was interesting. It was just basically thanking us for being a repeat customer at Pop Century. Um, Which we've been to pop Century many many times i don't know if that's so maybe why we, we hit got a it. magic number maybe we stayed there 10 times or you know we've what been I mean? there lots of times we have so. um so that was a very knows? nice touch um yeah. i was disappointed he didn't get a birthday card because i specifically put his birthday i actually called them to make sure that they had that it was his birthday actually i'd rather have the chocolates <laughs> that's true because they only give you a card when right. they do the birthday thing yeah. so bonus chocolates so that was neat that was cool and then um also we of course, got the Festival of the Arts, um, what do you call these? Pa they call it Passport during um, International Food and Wine Festival. I don't know that it's called a, oh yeah, it is, Festival of Passport. So there you go. So we got the 2018 Passport, and that's free. And it basically just tells you all the activities, all the food booths, and also there's stickers that you yep. can use to mark what you've done and haven't done. And then also, I, if you've seen our Festival of the Arts video, and if you haven't, I will link it over Brian's head right now. Um, I did the, um, where you basically paint a giant mural, and it's paint by numbers. They give you paint and a little brush, and there's little bitty squares with numbers, and yeah. you, you paint the numbers. And then when you finish the painting, they give you a postcard, and it's an actual postcard with that you can send to someone with the mural that you were painting. So I was doing the monorail, which is pretty cool. It looks really cool. Yeah, it's really neat. So that was cool. And I like how they give you, a, that's basically a free souvenir, mm -hmm. meaning I didn't have to pay any extra to do the activity or to get the postcard. And then I'm going to cover some of these in case some of you are going to actually do it still because the festival is still going as of the time of this recording. So I'm going to put my hand over some, but we did the um, figment, Festival, is this called Festival of the Masters? No, Figment's Brush with the Masters. So in several of the countries around World Showcase, they have Figment in famous painting. Yeah. So it's the famous painting, but with Figment added to I it. I will say we've done several of these hunt things through the show World Showcase. Yeah. This was the most difficult. I would agree. Right, because yeah, we had agree. to like Google like two or three of them. Yeah, yeah. this was definitely challenging. And um, they weren't in obvious locations, mm -hmm. nor were they in the same location, always in the same kind of location. Like a lot of times they're near Kid Cod or you, you see a pattern. These, these had no pattern that, pattern, that right? I could yeah. see. But it was really cool. So it cost $8.99 with, before tax. Just That's just the retail price to do this. And we got a pass holder discount, so it was a little bit less than that. But you got this really nice. I'm gonna let Brian hold this because he has longer arms. I don't know if it's gonna focus. If I hold Limited it there. edition yeah. figment pen. Um, I can show it later. I'll take a photo and put maybe it that in. focus. I can't tell. Yeah. So it's really nice. Um, it's basically figment painting spaceship. Earth. Yeah, that's so really it's neat. very <laughs> super cute, and you could choose from several different pens. So that was really neat. Um, so. Even though that was sort of purchased, we didn't buy the pen, we did the hunt. So that's sort of the end of the free slash somewhere in the middle. So this I'm super excited about because I wanted this um, at the 35th anniversary for Epcot, which we were there for. These were not there. Um, as you know, Disney primarily does Tervis tumblers, and I don't prefer plastic. I prefer metal. And so this is a really nice metal Epcot 35th. And it's really big too, which I like. It's huge, and it does have this 
rubber rimmed sort of plastic top, but that's fine. I just like the metal um, stainless yeah. steel type. And it's got a nice solid bottom. It's a separate bottom that's nice and solid. So I actually love this. And this was $24.99. But again, I got a, a pass holder discount, so not too bad. So are the, we ready for the piece? The grand, the yeah, the, the, the really big expensive <laughs> piece. Oh. But totally worth it. All right, so here we go. Brian's going to have to hold it because it's so yeah. big. That's about the best I can do right there to get yeah. it all in frame. And then we'll yeah. hold it up a little to show the bottom because oh, the yeah, monorail yeah. is on the bottom. So I love this painting. And thankfully, I saw this before we went because I'm not big. You can take it down because I think it's you good. you want to show like, the back? Sure, yeah. The so there's stuff. a certificate of authenticity, and it's number five of 195. Which is, that's really impressive, you know. And it gives you a little information about the artist. I love it. And so that was $300 or $295. I don't remember the exact, but <laughs> close to $300. And it was, um, it did have the pass holder discount for 20%, which was fantastic, but it also cost like $35 to ship because that's not something you can throw on a plane. Um, yeah. so we had to have it shipped back here. So I totally love it though. I love it. I love everything about it. I love the style. I love Figma. I love Spaceship Earth. I love World Showcase. I love the monorail, not writing it, but looking at it. Um, so it's one of those purchases that sure it was expensive, but I'll have it the rest of my life and enjoy it because it'll be hanging That's on neat. my wall over my desk. So I'm super happy. And there was actually a little bit of drama with getting it. Um, UPS claimed that they tried to deliver it on the second. But there was no note on the door, right? No note ever on the door. No indication any delivery attempt was made. And Disney didn't tell me how long it would take to get it. But I started thinking this past, this is Saturday, this past Thursday, I started thinking I should have that by now. And so I called Disney, got a tracking number, looked up on the UPS website and sure enough, I saw that they, they claimed they had tried to deliver it. If they did, it was to a different house. It wasn't because we were also home that day. So we, we should have gotten it. And also it said that the next day, so Friday, yesterday, they were going to return it to Disney <laughs> if I didn't pick it up and they hadn't called me. They hadn't tried to get in touch with me, nothing. So I'm so glad I checked in. It's just weird. It. It's like, why do they ask? They always ask for your phone, your phone number, number. But they never use it. <laughs> And then they don't call you. Yeah. So luckily I was able to go to the UPS store locally and pick it up. And I was like, phew, I'm just glad it worked out. But that was a little bit scary because I don't know if Disney would have charged me again for the shipping. I don't want to pay another $35. But anyway, that was our tiny haul. But we were only there one day. So yeah. like, like Brian said, I think days to dollars, that was probably one of our <laughs> more expensive hauls. So thanks for watching. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Until our next adventure.